Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Michelle. I'm a music producer, music artist, video director, and painting artist from San Antonio, Texas. And I'm 23 years old. When I was, I want to say, nine years old, my mom put me and my brother in piano. She put us in a lot of stuff just to see, like, what it would take to. And my brother did not take to piano, <laughs> but I loved it. So I just continued doing that for a while, and I eventually wanted to learn guitar. So I was doing cover songs for, like, YouTube a lot. And I had a, I had a bunch of YouTube channels, but one of them I did cover songs a lot, and then I'd go sing them to my grandpa when we'd visit my grandparents' house, and he started encouraging me to write my own songs. So I'd start writing songs, and every time i go, he'd be like, where are my songs? I need new songs. So he kept pushing me to do it like professionally. And when I was 13, I actually lost him to pancreatic cancer. So I joined the Pancreatic Cancer Association. It's a San Antonio affiliate, affiliate. and that's where I wanted to combine both of our loves and make a uh, purple palooza. So it's a pancreatic cancer charity festival. It's a music festival I've started. So it'll be like for both of us. <laughs> so it started out as a event called purple light that was already going on and they just asked me to like perform at it. So I just do like acoustic sets, but it was really like kind of a sad event and the whole organization is kind of I feel like around sadness a lot because it's about losing a lot of people and I wanted to make it more uplifting so eventually I was like can we turn this around and make it like an actual like festival and like have people like look forward to going to something and they're like yeah you be in charge of it and I was like okay cool so I call it Purple Palooza it's still kind of small now it's just for San Antonio We'll have a bunch of local artists come out and perform, and we'll have vendors come out too so they can sell like paintings or like, oh, this store, the come up. That's what I wrote retail therapy about. They would sell some clothes there too. Um, oh, I've been wanting them to come. We had different ones last year. But this year, we actually couldn't do it because of the virus. And so I'm hoping next year that it's gone and we can come back bigger and better. Because now I'm meeting a lot of people in the industry. So I'm hoping like bigger artists could come out and draw a bigger crowd. So that'd be really cool. <laughs> actually changed my perspective a lot. It's opened more doors that I hadn't thought of before. Um, I've just started to like force myself to just reach out to people rather than just like hoping like I take off one day pretty much. So I've been doing a lot of like online shows just like applying for them too and I reached out to my now he's my mixing engineer Alex Tume. I asked him to mix this song, Retail Therapy, and I didn't expect him to respond, honestly. And he was like, yeah, I love it. Let's work. And I was like, wow. So he's, like, really changed my life a lot. And he introduced me to Twitch as well. And I've been, like, streaming, playing video games with him on Twitch, and that's, like, got me a lot of new followers. And I'm going to start painting on Twitch, too. I just realized, like, online is so much more helpful than just in person, too. My debut album, Lithium, was about um, my living with bipolar disorder. So the moods between tracks transition, like they alternate completely. And my sophomore album is going to be Placebo. And it's more about like going from one spectrum to the other because that one's about one situation rather than my whole life. So it's about a breakup and me healing from it and like blossoming really. So this song, Retail Therapy, is like halfway through the album. And it's where like my mood starts to like kind of shift. And I realized I was starting to like want to go out more and get dressed up. So I was shopping at the store, the come up a lot. That's where I buy a lot of my favorite sweaters. And I, while I was leaving the store, like the lyrics were actually coming to me. I was like, pull up in the come up in my brand new sweater. So I realized I had to write a song about like getting cute. <laughs> It's the funnest video we've done so far. I was actually inspired by the logo from the come up. It's um, on there. The sign in front of the store, it's actually red, yellow, and blue. So I was like, okay, the music video has to be red, yellow, and blue. And it actually took us like, I want to say four to five months to shoot it. We had six different shooting days, but we spaced them out because my hair had to be three different colors for the video. So I made sure to like 
I had it like long and it was half red and then I chopped off the red and we shot the, the short hair blonde scene and then I had a wig for the yellow scene and at the very end I dyed it blue for the blue scene. But it was fun. We shot a lot of them actually just in my garage. We, I bought wallpaper from Walmart or from Target. So I put that up and then I would buy some furniture, use it for a day and then return it. <laughs> so we did it like we we're balling on a budget with it. It was so fun to make. My director of photography, Jacob Lombowski, does all my videos with me, and every time I give him ideas, he like executes them like three times better than I had it in my mind. So this one was my favorite so far. <laughs>
So uh, YouTube taught me a lot. Like <laughs> every time I didn't have an answer for like how to like produce something, I'd go to YouTube and reach out to other people you know of who are in music because it never ever hurts to ask. I always would be too scared and then I'd be like, all right, let me just ask this person. I'm like, oh yeah, there's this guy I would buy equipment from at this music store, Sam Ash. And one day I just like told him I had a question about how Logic Studio or like some equipment I had. He's like, oh, um, I'm not busy this time of day. Just come back to the store and I'll like help you. And he'd like train me a lot too and taught me what I needed to know. So whoever you know that's doing something you're trying to do, just ask them. <laughs> goal in music is sync licensing gigs. Um, there was this TV show, The Mick. It's um, Caitlin Olson's TV show. She's D from It's Always Sunny. And it's a really cool show. It was on Fox and Hulu. And the producers actually reached out to me and said they wanted one of my songs on season three. But then Fox canceled the show in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I was like, oh, it was right there. So my biggest goal is to have my music in a lot of TV and film. Because I have a lot of autoimmune issues, so I can't really tour that much. I'd probably get sick easily. And like, who knows if touring is going to continue being a thing soon. So that's what I want to do the most. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.